three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. What is this mask supposed to represent? This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. A sad way to go. A sad way to go. An old diary. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all.
This oil again. What is it used for? What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Locked. A table for sacrifice? I got it. Look, it can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. My turn. Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin.
You who sleeps, accept this dreamer under your immortal wing. Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitagin. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnik, a padk, Cthulhu Bithnikor. Grant him your mind. Locked. So that his mind and yours may be one. Grant him your dreams and accept his, so that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. I... I feel him. Shh. You are gifted indeed, not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. Oh. Bring me more sacred flesh into the kingdom of the earth. The dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Again, this primitive writing. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Can't hide forever. You won't escape me. Show yourself. There was something over here. Hey. 
Istel Bas Natulu, Lenalaf, Kli Norschlag Rele, Gorkanira, Sigov, Vene Abadar, Nikif, Kristel Bas Natulu, Lenalaf, Kli Norschlag Rele, Gorkanira, Sigov, Vene Abadar, Nikif, Kristel Bas Natulu. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! Charles? You shouldn't have seen this. Get out of here. find a way of getting rid of those two myself. I told you not to let her come down. I know. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Good God. What could this machine be used for? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Worse and worse. The liquid connects it to the electric current. What are its properties? Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. Have I activated anything? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Locked. Exactly what I need. It's locked.
The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. This padlock is too complicated for me. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This valve controls the pressure. The control wheel is missing. Duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Perfect. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. Now for the next step. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. It's no use. The padlock won't give.
So, have you got him? Not yet. Hurry up, if you don't want them to... I think we've got a walker. Four days, maximum. Five at the most. Let's calm down, please. No! No! Ah! Pain is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me! Kill me! What? If you don't kill the door me, is blocked on the other side. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. This lever must turn on the gas machine. The piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. The piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. Hide before the guards see me.
Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. And the real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! What the hell? I got I got it. This is insane. What killed him?
What the hell was that? Damn. This dagger looks different. This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic.
Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. You know... I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. <laughs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. 
For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Don't you get involved in this. You've done enough already. But doctor, this man is dying. There's nothing we can do about it. He's in the hands of Dr. Fuller. Do you wish to end up like Elizabeth? With a diploma from Nightingale and the chores of a cleaning lady? No, you're right. Let me do my own investigation. It's time I found those missing files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Where have I seen this symbol?
It is trapped. It is trapped. Confronting powers that surpass you.
It looks like things are back to normal. 